All right. This is a story many people wanted me to tell. And here we go. This is the truth behind the beef with Tupac and Q-Tip. And yes, this was a beef going both ways. That's what a lot of people didn't know. They didn't like each other, period. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. These two guys did not like each other. The whole group Tribe Called Quest did not like Tupac. And I'm going to tell you how this all unfolded. Now, this is back when Juice was out. They're filming Juice and Lo In Theory is out. And Tupac was like, man, this is tight. This, this album is dope. You know, and they in New York and Tribe, Q-Tip, everybody there. Man, and, and Pac was sitting there like, man, this is tight. And, blah, blah, blah. and they was like, oh, yeah, you like this? And Pac was kicking something off his Apocalypse Now. You know, he was freestyling, but it was verses that he had on that album. And he was spitting it. And blah, 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 blah spitting it. He was all about... Like this and this and talking about uh, situations, the government, blah, 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 spitting that. And they was like, oh, yeah, 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 he, you know, he kind of tight. And then, you know, I go word of mouth and people was like, yeah, that was whack. <laughs> the dude was whack. You know, the dude that played Bishop and 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 uh, Juice, yeah, dude that played Bishop, yeah, yeah. That dude from, uh, yeah, the little dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he he trying, you know, but it was like he was whack, and so it came back, and it, it's not necessarily came from Tribe Called Quest, but because it was Tribe's party and everything, so when it came back to like Pac, it was like they said you was whack, they Tribe them saying you whack, so it started from hearsay, and basically from them, he was like, oh, they dissing. Like, oh man, you see this what I be talking about, man, these mugs. So, Pac was feeling a certain way about that. Then all of a sudden, you know, Juice come out, is doing his thing. Tribe is hot. John Singleton is one of the biggest directors now since Boys in the Hood. And he's got big budget money to play with for his next project, which he landed Janet Jackson on. Everybody thought that um, Lisa, you know, I mean, uh, Jada Pickett was going to get the role. But she had just did uh, Jason's Lyric, and they didn't want to put her in another drama, like, right back to back. And, and he didn't he didn't want to get Jada Pickett anyway. His goal was to try to get Janet Jackson and convince her to do it. And at the time, Q-Tip was getting trying to get into acting and do other things because he was trying to build himself up and establish himself as a producer as well and he was talking with Janet talking about working with her so they became really good friends during that time and then Tupac landed the role but people don't know is Q-Tip read for the part of Lucky just to show like hey I could read but he couldn't he was not ready to hit the kind of range that John Singleton knew Tupac could hit. You know, he knew Pac could hit these levels and all this. So he's like, look, I need to work with Pac, Tupac with this, because he got the range, he can do it, you know. To, it's a vulnerability to Lucky that Tupac could show both sides. You know, where Q-Tip couldn't hit that range, and especially for a first project. So they, they were going with Tupac anyway. They just wanted to be able to use it. Now, the problem that ensued in the situation was that Tupac had did Above the Rim and they were like, we got to get you out of that character mode because you'll get typecast. So John was like, that's why I made Lucky this way. He was like, man, Lucky kind of a punk, this and that, you know, I don't want him to be like a complete punk. And he was like, no, 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 he's not. He's like, you got to read the script. Wait till you see it play out and you will see it better. He just got a vulnerability to him. But people need to know you could do other things so you don't get typecast. And at the same time, Q-Tip is basically in the movie 
where in the title where he wanted to be in. So John felt bad and said, well, let me put Q-Tip as the boyfriend of Janet Jackson. You know, because they were talking. You know, so Janet felt comfortable kissing Q-Tip. But it comes up to the point where there's the love scene with her and Lucky. And Tupac is like, oh man, I'm gonna kiss Janet Jackson and all this. Then they come with, he gotta take an AIDS test. And he was like, yeah, they was like, Janet people want you to do an AIDS test. He was like, AIDS test? He's like, for a kiss? He's like, is she taking one? <laughs> if she's taking an AIDS test, then I'll take an AIDS test. If not, then I'm not taking an AIDS test. And Pac was like, man, it's that nigga Q-Tip. Q-Tip's putting that shit in her head, man. Y'all jealous and shit because I'm all hugged up on him and all this and that, man. I should have taken from him. You know, you know how Pac is, but this with the, everybody's in, like, the production is shut down right now. This thing is, John's like, man, we gonna go over budget. Somebody gotta talk to Pac. Somebody gotta talk to Janet. We gotta work this situation out. The movie wasn't going to get finished because of an AIDS test. And Q-Tip is like, look, I told you about this guy, you know. You know, he's all in John's ear about Pac. So, they finished the movie. You know, Pac ended up taking the test. Doing it, getting his paper. But, he felt a certain way. You know, now, all the like, man, love Janet, you know. He at the time, you know, he was real better about it. And the movie wrapped and everything and they finished it. He got on with what he had to do. And Pac basically left, went back to New York and had all these troubles and cases and blah 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 and everybody raved about his performance from Poetic Justice. Now Q tip, they got Marauders come out, Marauders is killing it. You know, and they come out and they finna get an award at the Source Awards. Pac was in <laughs> at the Source Awards and he was gonna perform and then Q Tip came up and Pac claimed they when they performed they stole his beat. So he was gonna rock on his own beat. So he got up there on stage right when they was finna like get an award. They was up there accepting an award at the Source Awards. Pac had to put on his record. <laughs> and then he came right out and do out on bail. When you see out on bail, kind of look to the corner. You see the the the, the stand where the Source Awards is, and you see Q Tip them. They were standing right there, like what? And he just ran on stage and just started performing, and did that in the middle of the show. They had the DJ go up there and they did their thing, and then they walked off. Q Tip was in the back going off. Oh, everybody, Dave Mays, all them people in the source who was in charge. Man, this is disrespectful. This never happened in the art. And Africa Bambada and the Zulu Nation was back there. And they saw that, and, and they, they didn't like that at all. So them Zulu Nation dudes was back there, and they grabbed up Tupac now. And it was going to be a scuffle back there with Q-Tip and Pac and all of them. And the Africa Na Zulu Nation came. They, you know, you don't, you don't touch Nobody, <laughs> like, nobody puts a hand on African Bambada. You don't do it. Period. Pac didn't care. And they grabbed him up and let him know, brother, if you ever do something like this again, we would kill you. I mean, literally, they, they told him that. Like, you don't get disrespect, get up in the face of African Bambada when he's telling you something. So, Zulu Nation grabbed him up. Next thing you know, Pac cooled, he relaxed himself, and they bounced up out of there. But he was looking for Q-Tip. <laughs> and he was like, he ain't even a man. He wouldn't even step to me. How you gonna talk? You got a problem? I'm right here. You got a problem? I'm right here. You could talk to me. But Q-Tip didn't want, he didn't like Tupac's whole personality, period. He didn't. Nobody from Tribe liked Pac. It's just how it was. His vibe was totally not they kind of vibe. And he's either up, he's happy, he's down, he's savage, he's pocked. But they, they don't move like that. 
So they never felt his energy. But nothing ever came of it after that except for Tupac still going on radio trying to down Q-Tip every time you get Man, Q-Tip started this, man. Y'all think he all cool and all he hip-hop and all that? No, Q-Tip, this the West Coast. He want to make everybody hate Q-Tip. That's just how it was. He did not like him at all. So, you know, that's some fun facts for y'all. <laughs> I won't do a uh, Rex and Effects versus <laughs> Tribe Call Quest. That was nothing. That was a misunderstanding that led to a fight. And Q Tip got punched in the eye. So that was about it. <laughs> Other than that, we are done on this subject. Uh, T.I. and Q-Tip situation was not... Oh, because somebody going to ask me about that, too. This was the whole misunderstanding. So you get a whole bonus today. Here's the misunderstanding. And that's what it was. It's a complete misunderstanding. Q-Tip was signed to the label as an artist. They signed T.I., who's known as Tip. So when he comes in there, he was the artist known as Tip. That was his name, Tip. So they was going to put T.I.P. as his initials, you know, Tip. That's it. Because everybody called him Tip. Q, Tip, name. They call him Q because from Queens. He's on the Queens Tip. That's all it was. So Q, Tip is that. Now, everybody call him Abstract or Tip and all this stuff. So he's like, whoa, wait a minute. Y'all trying to get a younger me? And y'all going to use my name with a younger guy? Like, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. So, T.I. had to switch his name. Tip had to switch his name to T.I. Because they were going to do, we no, we're going to do T.I.P. They was like, no, that's, that's too close to Q-Tip. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. So, instead of Tip, it was T.I. So that's why they keep calling T.I. Tip. But he made the best of it, and he made the best of it, <laughs> as you can see. But that was just a misunderstanding. Nobody came in, had a beef with anything. Q-Tip didn't have a beef with T.I. He just was like, wait a minute, they bringing this guy in with my name. It just happened to be what they call him, Tip. That was just his name. So... Wasn't no beef, nothing happened, and nothing for making an extra video on. Alright, I'm out.